Hey everyone, long time no see. Um, I'm here to give you guys an update on what's been going on with my whole vlogging situation and the stuff I've been working on. Basically, exciting news for 2017. Stay tuned. So, as you know, we're well into the holidays right now and a majority of the populace around the states and you know, some people around the world are celebrating their respective holidays of choice and that's greatly impacted my energy levels and my workload. Um, uh, if some of you guys don't know this, but I do work for a giant company known as Amazon. <laughs> and yeah, we are busy a lot, especially during these times. You know, we, got, we had the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas shopping, it's hectic right now. But uh, yeah, that's kind of some of the things I've been dealing with. We, we call it peak season. Uh, now mind you, on top of that, I'm also a night shift worker. Uh, you can only imagine the struggle it is to have to work five 12 hour shifts. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, graveyard shifts too. It's pretty bad. Um, so with what little free time I do have, I kind of just stay in bed and watch a little bit of Netflix. Hey girl, hey girl. So another lingering issue that kind of reared its ugly head was my old camera. I don't know if you guys remember uh, G7X here. I used it a lot in a lot of my old videos. And uh, it was pretty much my go-to point and shoot lightweight camera that you know shot 1080p at 60fps and it was legit. But uh, if you watched my last video on Angel's Landing, I was having a bit of trouble up there. I was trying to shoot a time lapse and the thing just flat out didn't want to do it. it powered down on its own, didn't save any of the footage and wasted a ton of my time. Instead of spending like one hour there, I literally spent three. It was, it was ridiculous. All right, so between the overtime and the camera problems, basically since October, I decided to take like a little short hiatus from it all and just kind of burn through this peak season and not really wear myself out by doing too much. So, um, I also decided to recently get my camera checked out because of those problems so I sent it in for my warranty with Square Trade and long story short they couldn't fix it. Moment of silence for the G7X. In the arms of the angel, fly away. All right but yeah um, <laughs> so if you guys don't know anything about Square Trade they're a company that provides basically like insurance or warranty on products you buy through Amazon or basically anywhere as long as you can provide proof that you bought it and the purchase has to be within 30 days or the warranty has to be within 30 days of that purchase and yeah they basically got you covered if you buy the right package so what Square Trade actually did end up doing for me was sending me a check in the mail fully reimbursed me for my product which was a Canon G7X so I used that money plus a little bit more and I purchased some new gear so without further ado let's do an unboxing all right all right so as you guys can see I have kind of a care package of camera gear here as well as a new tripod that I purchased. I've been pretty much direly in need of one of these. I had my eye on this puppy for a while. So uh, yeah, it hit a nice sale for all these things. And yeah, let's start off with the tripod because I'm actually going to use that in this video. So, and then I'll show you guys the camera that I got. So let's see here. This is the Vanguard Ultra Pro 264AB100. It is a special tripod made out of aluminum and on top of that it has a ball head uh, it also has one significant feature which kind of sold me on this particular uh, model here not quite the ball head I'm not too impressed with the ball head it looks really basic but uh, yeah Ooh, so we got some goodies there the tripod itself is here I believe this is a carrying case I'm not too worried about that. I mean, let's see if there's anything inside of it. But for the most part, it should just be a carrying case that I probably won't really use that often anyways. Nice little retractable lines there. 
strap, pretty basic. It's orange and black. Vanguard. All right. Let's get to the important part of this. All right. And here we have some packs and the plates, the mounting plates. Let's get it open. Ooh. It's girthy. It's not as heavy, but it's it's perfect actually for what I need it. Awesome. Some sort of a multi-tool here. All right, let's check these out. So let me show you guys the thing that basically sold me on this particular tripod. If I can figure it out here. I believe it's, yes. So there's a knob here to uh, loosen the, the main pole. And then this right here, guys, check this out. figured this out yet there it is all right definitely there it is oh this just tightens okay I got it so yes this this is what I'm talking about you see this locking mechanism here it allows you to take out the center column and and basically just get this thing completely vertical if you want it That locks it in place like legit. There's no moving that. It's pretty solid. That, that is gonna be great. The reason that is gonna be great is because you can get these crazy low shots, dude. Like, look at this thing. And with the ball head and all. Look at that. It's freaking vertical. You get the camera right here. Super low shots. That's gonna be great. Like, super great. Oh, awesome. That's what it's intended for. However, I think there's another use for this. Now, I have a backpack with this, with this crazy angle. I have a backpack that can basically hold on to this tripod behind, behind my shoulder. And picture this this thing basically being behind my shoulder getting a nice almost third person over the shoulder shot it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty much amazing I don't know if you guys can see but like imagine this pole over the shoulder just <laughs> that's my plans for this thing and I already see it's gonna work perfectly just by just by this angle alone and how high up this thing gets with the ball head perfectly just yeah, everything is exactly as I imagined it. That's gonna be sick. Expect something like that soon. <laughs> All right. Um, a, a third application I have for this thing that also will work is table shots. If I want to review a product, which I plan to right now, So this isn't like the most optimal setup, but uh, as you guys can see, now I, you guys can have like product reviews that I can do, or, or just things that I want to open up or play with on the table. This is the old box for my Canon G7X. Uh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that away because. Uh, <laughs> I'm bringing today to the table there you have it my new camera this is the Panasonic Lumix G7 this thing shoots in 4k as you can see here I believe it's 30 FPS 4k so it's not too useful I might mess with that every now and then however it does shoot like I was before 1080p at 60 FPS which is more ideal for me that's what I'm gonna use it for um, it comes with a kit lens very tiny and plasticky feeling kit lens um, something I did to combat that which was recommended among other people that are using this particular camera I went ahead and bought myself a an adapter from Zenyagi 
for Canon FD lenses, very classic old Canon FD lenses. See this adapter on the bottom? And it does FD lenses to micro four thirds. M43, micro four thirds. Um, and the lens I bought for it for $75 from a random person, 50 millimeter prime lens. This thing has a f-stop of 1.4, if you can see right there by my thumb, all the way up to 22. It has awesome focusing. This thing provides like some, uh, something called bokeh, people call it. It's like when the background's blurred or the subject, is, and the subject is really sharp. So that's gonna be interesting shots. Um, I'm mainly gonna use this for, for low light situations because of how far down the f-stop goes pretty interesting um, I'm gonna work on getting another lens later um, I'll probably save up for that but for now that's what I'm gonna use primarily until I can get myself probably a 35 mil and I'll probably mess with the kit lens some as well um, if you, anybody works at Amazon or has worked for Amazon I think you'd recognize these <laughs> need it that bad here but so I did notice this was it looked like it was a little open but I, I haven't opened it. I actually don't even know if there's a, actually a camera in here. I, I would hope so. Um, yeah. Cool. Let's see what we got. Optional accessories. There's microphones, flashes, mount adapters. They, they even mentioned the mount adapters. Not the particular one that I got, but... See, uh, one of the things about the mount adapter that I got, though, you're sacrificing your autofocus to do a manual focus, which is kind of it. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, for the quality you're gonna get from this glass, you can't really argue. Like, it, it's a huge jump up from what I've seen. I mean, you can argue it all day, but. For the price you're getting for that quality, it is pretty worth it. And I actually want to learn how to pull focus a lot better and stuff. Uh, I got a Lumix G strap. The camera is in here. Damn, this thing is really light, guys. It's kind of scary. <laughs> lens hood. Nice. Kit lens. This thing is even tinier. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Cable, battery, battery charger, the official one. And that's it, empty box. So yeah, let's throw this away. Let's really get a look at this thing here, guys. This is my new camera unveiling Lumix Panasonic G7. This thing is scary light, guys. It is, it is paper light. Holy crud. I don't even know how to... Like, wow. Okay. Let's see, we have a flip-out screen. That is gorgeous. Smooth, too. That's exactly what I was hoping to get out of it. That's going to be great for capturing my shots. Just phenomenal. I'm going to have to buy a screen protector for that. It's even got a viewfinder. Something really nice for taking pictures. It's got flash. Pop-up flash, I believe. Yep. Sure do. Right here, you're going to be able to mount an accessory up here. Usually audio or another flash. Nice knobs all around. Buttons. Lots of buttons. I'm going to have to figure this thing out. It's going to be a new layout. So many buttons, guys. It's nice. Alright, and the kit lens here. Look how tiny this thing is. Really light plastic just nothing really special going on there i always hear that this kit lens isn't really that great it's okay for the most part but uh we could do better we can do better apparently
So yeah, I'm going to be taking this to the family Christmas party along with both lenses. I'm going to try them both out, see what the why people dislike the kit lens so much and see the jump to the glass from the 50mm prime lens here and see which one's better for my applications. I have a feeling I'm going to miss the autofocus, but I'm going to do my best to just make this work because I think it's going to be better. Um, however, that's going to be some trial and error, but I will be testing this thing intensively. And yeah, you guys will see some of those shots in three, two, one. I don't think I could be so afraid 